Blessings, blessings. Evangelist Shah here. Today I'm going to talk about another one of my favorite topics. How the Lord instilled in me why I just can't get enough of God's word. If you followed me so far, you know that this channel is all about my testimonies. So today there's going to be another testimony time. But today is going to be all about how I got to love the, the, the word of the Lord so much. This, this unquenchable hunger and thirst for God's word. How God instilled in me, he just put that passion, that love for his word. He just filled me with it up to this day. I have a hunger and a thirst for God's word. So that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. If you haven't seen my video about my testimony, go and watch that video first. Because in there I break down how I got saved. And in this video, I also had an encounter, the video about encounter with Jesus. So if you watch those videos then you could understand this one because all of them are like back-to-back -back episodes of what has been happening on this journey with the lord yes so watch the video about my testimony watch the video about my encounter with jesus and then you watch this video now the word of god which is the bible it is precious to me it is really, really precious to me. There's not one day that I don't be in the Bible, that I'm not studying his word. And I can go hours and hours, especially in the beginning, when I just got saved. We're talking about 2019, the beginning of 2019. I went and I bought myself a study Bible. Yeah, because I really wanted to know God and I really wanted to know his word, After, especially after that encounter. So I went and I bought myself a study Bible very thick study bible let me show you it this is the study bible as you can see it's very thick very very thick and it contains so much information so much information and this to me was the beginning of the beginning diving into this and i was so hungry i ate it all up i'm no stranger to thick books like this because I was studying law. I used to be a law student and all the books were thicker than this. So I'm used to diving into thick books like this. So when I got this study Bible, it was my first Bible ever. I purchased this and I started in this book now. And like I said, it was, I just couldn't get enough of it. I just couldn't get enough. I, I just dived into this book. And I started reading it literally from Genesis to Revelation. And there was just so much information. A whole world opened up to me. I couldn't get enough. There was not a time, not even a moment that I was bored of reading the word of God. I was just sucking it all up. I was so hungry and thirsty for it. And I just couldn't get enough of God's word. And I do believe with all my heart that God jesus christ himself my lord and savior he instilled he put that passion that hunger and that thirst for his word inside of me because like i said i would go hours and hours without even getting tired without even getting bored up to this day i still love being in the word but let me tell you what something the coolest thing the most awesome amazing thing happened as i was studying the word of god i would then be you know in my bible study I will be reading a scripture and let's say I was studying the book of Job and that's why I have my illustration here too because this 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 is my illustration board today <laughs> this is what happened the coolest thing in the world God literally starts speaking to me via his word not symbolically not metaphorically I'm talking about literally. I would be studying, for instance, the book of Job. And all of a sudden, my post-its, because this is how I started out. I was so hungry and thirsty that I wanted to memorize the verses. That I start writing them down on a post-it and sticking them on the wall. <laughs> I mean, like, really, who does that? 
yes i did it and the coolest thing like i said happened god literally started speaking to me through the scriptures that's why i have such a hunger and a thirst and a passion for the word because god speaks to me literally through his words so i would be in the book of job and then what would happen the scripture from job would fall down though the lord slays me i will continue trusting in the lord it would just literally fall down from the wall and it happens to be the exact scripture because i have this is just a portion of the wall i had my whole entire wall of my studio full of scriptures and always one scripture would fall that pertains to what I'm studying or to what message God wants to relate to me at that time. Sometimes I would pray about something. I remember once when I just bought my piano, I would pray to the Lord and I would say, Father, I really want to learn how to play this piano. And then bam, another scripture from the wall would fall. Mark 11, 24. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, Believe that you have received it and it will be yours. So, do you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm trying to explain to you that God was literally, he literally was speaking to me through the scriptures. And it was the coolest thing in the world to experience that. I mean, I don't know if this ever happened to you. If it has, leave your comments because I would want to know. But for me, this was the coolest thing in the world. That God, because many times you hear, yes, God speaks to the scriptures. He speaks to people through the scriptures. But that is always, you know, says like in a, in a metaphorical way, in a metaphorical way. People don't literally experience scriptures falling from the wall. But that's how cool God is. He's going to meet you literally where you are. God is going to meet you literally at where you are. And I just wanted to know God. I just wanted to know about his word. And I just decided to just put a bunch of scriptures, as you can see. <laughs> this is just part of it. This is what I'm using today as illustration. But I'm talking about this thing happened four years ago. This happened four years ago. And these scriptures are so anointed. I just took them out and I and I post them again on the on the on the wall. And you can see they're they're so anointed that they're not even falling. These are some anointed post-its stickers. <laughs> they are really anointed. And they have been truly a joy in my life. I love the word of God. Because God chose the coolest way to communicate with me via his word. Literally, literally, whenever God wanted to speak to me, a scripture would fall off the wall. And the scripture would always pertain to something I was studying at that moment, or something I was praying for at that moment, or something God wanted to communicate to me at that moment that had nothing to do with the scriptures. He would communicate with me. He would talk to me literally via the scriptures falling off the wall. And that is something, like I said, to me, the coolest thing. Because the scriptures wasn't just falling off. They were literally stuck to the wall. And only that particular scripture that God wanted to communicate with me at that particular time would fall off the wall. The coolest and the most awesome thing. Let me tell you something. God speaks to us all in a different way. He spoke to me like this four years ago. Now, this didn't last too long. After like a year or two, a year and a half, he stopped speaking to me like this. He was like, okay, you have to grow now. I can't continue speaking to you like this. I want you to mature. I want you to start hearing from me in another way. And at the beginning, I was very upset because I've gotten so used to hear from the Lord via this method. And the Lord was trying to, you know, to carry me somewhere else. He wanted me to mature. He wanted me to, to start hearing from him differently. I do miss the system. Every single day, I wish the Lord was still speaking to me like this because this is so cool. But the Lord speaks to us all in a different way. 
you have to find out in what way the Lord is speaking to you when you are in his word, when you are studying the Bible. How is God speaking to you? Leave your comments. Let me know. I would definitely want to know. How does God communicate to you when you are busy reading and studying his word? Because this is how we do it for me. But I'm sure God is so creative. He's so cool. He's so awesome. He will definitely find a way to meet you at your level and do all something completely awesome for you to do it as well. So this was my story, my testimony of why it is I love the, the, the word of the Lord so much. He definitely instilled in me, he put that passion, that hunger, that thirst for his word. And then he literally started to speak to me via the scriptures falling off of the wall. The coolest thing in the world. Find out how he speaks to you too. And I pray that you would also, you would also instill that hunger and that thirst and that love for his word in you. Shalom, shalom.